Hey there, welcome back to Microsoft Teams YouTube channel. I'm Zoe, part of the Teams team here at Microsoft. Whether I'm in my current role sending emails and team chats for the projects I work on, or when I was a frontline worker answering customer requests, they had one major thing in common. They need to get someone's approval. And you can enable your frontline team to send customer refund requests or even submit a maintenance request. And the best part, it's actually easy to send an approved request from anywhere you may be right in Teams. If you haven't used approvals before, click the three dots on the left-hand pan or the store icon and search approvals. Then click the icon to open. This main screen is where you see all the approvals you've received and the ones you've sent. You can easily see all the requests you have to approve as well as the status of every request you've sent. But what do you do if you want to make it easier for your team to submit typical requests in their day to day? Well, if you're a manager and an owner of a team in Teams, you can create custom approval templates. Start by selecting Manage Templates at the top right of the screen, where you can see all the existing approval templates enabled for your team. And then click New Templates. You can choose an existing template or start from scratch. In this case, I'm going to choose the refund template to build a customer refund request form. Once you've clicked it, you can preview the template and and the fields that are pre-populated as a foundation and easily editable for your needs. Select Next and choose the team you're setting the template up for. And then hit Done. Now you can customize it for your team. First up, the basic settings. Say you want to change the name of the template from Refund to Customer Refund Request. And then you can select the category for this, we'll keep it as order management. And then add a description, which is a great place to let your team know when and how to use this form. Once you have all the information set, click Next. In the form design stage, you can edit line by line as well as add additional fields as needed. Say you want to change an existing item like warehouse to store location. Just move your mouse over it so it turns gray and click on the item. And you'll easily be able to change the name. Then you can make it required, you can make it a long or short form, and you can move it up and down. Finally, to save your changes, just click off to the side. And you can update other fields or add new ones until this form fits exactly what you need. Select Next to move to the final step. Now this workflow settings step lets you customize the actions your team must take before submitting a request. Say for customer refunds, you may want the original receipt attached or a photo of the item being returned. To require this, click the button to turn it on. You can also specify approvals, say we want Joanna to be it, or you can add custom responses. Finally, preview your template, make sure it looks good. And then publish it so your team can start using the approval form for customer refunds. Now you can manage your templates after they're created. So whenever a team receives a customer refund request, they can quickly use the form right in Teams, whether it's from the approvals app, in a chat, or in a channel, rather than create a net new request somewhere else. There are so many ways to use approvals, so be sure to try it out and tell us how you're using it. Don't forget to subscribe and explore all the ways you can use Teams.